How y'all doing? My name is K Reno. I'm with a rap clip called South Park Coalition. Hey. We've, been, uh, we've been making rap music. We've been formed as a clique since 1987. And um, I think in this city, my clique really epitomizes what underground is in terms of rap and what music is. And um, we come from that generation that never got no radio play. That never, the way it was just hard to even take your music up to the station. I think the word that we really got to look at when we think about what's going on with Trey as it relates to 97.9 is the word arrogance. Yeah. Oh, See, I've been dealing with a lot of them cats for years. Mm. And the, the key thing, the key character trait that jumps out at me anytime that I've come across them or uh, anybody else have told me stories about when they came across them was the word arrogance. They feel like they superstars, man. They don't know who the real stars are, and it's not the artists, it's the people. The people who listen to the radio station. The people who gotta sit up and hear them sing 10 songs 30 times a day. The people who gotta listen to, or who gotta ride around while babies hear these sexually explicit songs get played on 97.9 all day, every day. You see what I'm saying? This type of stuff we go through. See, Trey, when you really look at it, we're going we gonna to take it on a smaller scale, but when, when Jesus was going through what he was going through, it was only a few people that rode with him. You see what I'm saying? So even up until the time when they crucified him, it was only a few people that rode with him. But then after the fact, everybody was down with him. You see what I'm saying? We're not going to let that happen to my little brother up here. Because he is the sacrificial lamb right now. He's going through it right now because the truth be told, a lot of these other artists with bigger names are scared to, to jump on the team with it. Because they feel the loss of their comfort zone. Or they um, salt pillar. You know, they salt bed in the glass of Kool-Aid. They don't want to lose that. But what you got to understand as an artist is that the first time you don't have that hit record no more, you're going to be out of there anyway. See, so you gonna either get banned, you gonna either get banned for standing up for what you gotta do, or you gonna get that indirect uh, on the cool band where your music ain't hot no more, so we not gonna play you no more. You see what I'm saying? So it looks so right now in the beginning stages, which we really are in the beginning stages. It looks like um, um, it, it's, it's a big monster that we fighting against. But you gotta remember, man, David killed Goliath with a rock. You know what I'm saying? A slingshot, a little rock in a slingshot. So we don't bar that because we backed by a bigger power. You know, just like Brother Derek said, if God is with you, who can be against you? So we're going to stand strong with my brother because I've seen him from when he came up way in the gorilla mob days. You see what I'm saying? I watched him grow. So you got to know that it's arrogance, man, when you can look at that DVD we just got through watching and you can see all of the people that he's here, adult and children, and then you watch this organization, Radio 1 and 97.9 The Box, and these snakes that work up there and still turn their back on this man. When I know, I can't think of no other rappers who are, are more active in the community than he is. So if you're not, if you're not big enough to want to sit down at the table with him and at least have a dialogue to try to reach a resolution to where you done got so small that you even penalizing your own employees behind it, man, then you got to go. Straight up, you got to go. See, I, I made see, I made a song this in uh, 97, 9 and 2000 called F the Radio. So, I mean, I guess I got banned way back in the gap. <laughs> you know, because I dissed Mad Hatter and J Mac. I'm just going to call it straight out. So, I don't advise nobody to take the approach that I'm taking, but if you're scared to be a part of something that's going to benefit everybody in the long run, then you need to leave the room now because we're not taking no prisoners straight up. Hey. Yeah, we're going to start getting to a round of applause. How y'all doing? My name is Ram and I uh, run a station, a radio station, so I, I believe I do have a solution here today called Optimo Radio. I'd just like to play it real quick, uh, if I can, uh, make sure it's coming on. Anyway, it's local live, Houston.com, and all we play is Houston Underground music. We don't play, this is what's on there right now. <laughs> 
Yeah. We're doing 24 hours of Trey right now. We're supporting Trey, man. We're doing 24 hours of the truth and support. We started. We love Houston music. That's that's what this is about. We uh we we started the radio. So I don't know. I'm trying to stay off. I, mean, I didn't get an iPhone myself. Uh, we started about two weeks right before uh, this happened with the cracker nuts and everything. And when it happened, we did a trade. I blew my mind. I mean, this is this is why we started because every time I live in Austin right now, every time I come home, I jump in the shower, you know, I turn the radio station real quick, and I hear some horrible garbage song yeah. that I've heard 35 times when I was riding in my friend's car. Right. I was listening to the radio. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, like I said, we have a solution here for for Trey, K. Reno, Troublesome's been involved. You know, we, we play them. We're playing Trey right now. At midnight when the tw 24 hours of Trey go off, I believe K. Reno's coming in there. I know Troublesome's in the mix. So what we want to let y'all know is there is a solution. You can listen on your computer, your iPhone, Blackberry, Houston Underground Music, all day, 24-7. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you can't beat it. So, you know, if they, they don't want to show us no love, forget them. Let's do it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's do our own thing. Let's do it ourselves. I don't want no money. I don't want no money to play this man's music. I listen to this man's music when I'm in the car. I just want everybody to hear it because it's good. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all listen to Trey, K. Reno, Altimo Radio. It's where it's at. Y'all can find it. Let's get that man a round of applause. He came with a very, very brilliant solution. My name is David. How everybody doing today? My name is David Bashirs. Uh, and I just want to say that uh, history repeats itself in many different forms. Once upon a time, there was a